Experts predict that 70% of the population will get infected before this pandemic slows down. There could be a second wave and maybe a third wave of this virus. Both could be deadly. It's likely that we will all get exposed to COVID-19 before there's a vaccine or an effective treatment. It's true that the majority of individuals are asymptomatic or experience only mild symptoms. We are now appreciating that these folks may have silent hypoxia, dangerously low blood oxygen levels with serious lung inflammation, but they feel fine and don't seek medical care. Others are overtly symptomatic. They can't breathe and have hypoxia with lung inflammation to match. These patients desperately need to be treated in hospital and may require a ventilator. Severe cases represent an exaggerated immune response rather than damage from the virus itself. This is called cytokine storm, where the immune system attacks our lungs and other tissues rather than just fighting off the virus. The result is widespread inflammation. This mainly affects the lungs, but occurs throughout the body and contributes to blood clots, which are causing stroke in COVID-19 patients. When the inflammation finally resolves, healthy lung is replaced by fibrosis and scarring with permanent loss of lung capacity. This will limit your physical stamina going forward and may ultimately shorten your life. Those who survive a serious infection are expected to live 10 years less as a result of permanent lung damage that they sustain. Obviously, we want to avoid, avoid both silent hypoxia and cytokine storm. We prefer to live and to save our lungs. So what to do? In addition to all the precautions put in place to avoid exposure and transmission, there is still so much we can do as individuals to improve our chance of having only a mild case of COVID-19. We need to focus on inflammation. We always knew inflammation was bad. Inflammation is the root cause of so many chronic conditions that are already killing us like atherosclerosis or arthritis. So how can we put the kibosh on inflammation? Let's discuss six things we can do to counteract inflammatory processes throughout our bodies. Starting now may make all the difference. So here are six steps to block inflammation. Number one, adopt an anti-inflammatory diet. Think Mediterranean diet. Start your day with a whole grain such as steel cut oatmeal. Add fruit like blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, cherries, or an orange. For dairy, limit yourself to Greek yogurt or cottage cheese. Make sure your day includes a salad. Load up on green leafy vegetables uh, such as spinach and kale. Then add color like tomatoes, peppers, and radish. Have an avocado and a cupped handful of raw mixed nuts every day with plenty of almonds and walnuts. For meat, choose a fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, or sardines. Have a lot of low-fat snacks throughout your day every two to three hours, such as carrots or an apple, so you never feel too hungry. Finish your meals by 6 p.m. with more veggies or fruit snacks if you need. Number two, get rid of foods causing inflammation. The major culprits are refined sugar and high fructose corn syrup. These are major sources of inflammation and cause far more heart disease than cholesterol ever did. We need to read food labels and stop purchasing food and drink containing high fructose corn syrup or added sugar. The same goes for refined carbohydrates such as white bread, white flour, white rice, pasta, pastries, and a lot of breakfast cereals. Get rid of vegetable oils and seed oils. Use extra virgin olive oil. Stop with excessive alcohol and processed meats. Just stop, throw it out, don't buy any more. Number three, make time to exercise. Most of the benefits of exercise happen when you transition from couch potato to doing something. So get moving. The American Heart Association recommends 150 minutes per week of light exercise, such as walking. This means walking for 30 minutes, five times a week. Try it with small dumbbells in your hands. Otherwise, try to average 10,000 steps per day. Walking throughout your day and letting those steps add up is, a very, effect is very effective. Movement sends a clear signal to the 50 trillion cells of your body that you intend to live and they respond with life. Alternately, you can work out each week for 75 minutes with moderate intensity, such as jogging or singles tennis. Number four, lose weight. The vast majority of Americans are too heavy, including myself when I'm not careful. This is important because obese individuals are hit harder by COVID-19. Set a goal of losing 10% of your body weight over the next year. By following these tips, we will set you up for success. The trick is to eat strategically, but you won't lose weight without exercise. Our newsletter outlines weight loss fundamentals in detail. Visit jamescanellermd.com to subscribe. It is free to you. Number five, manage your stress. 
Emotional stress signals your body to produce the hormones of stress. Many of us are addicted to stress. We thrive on it. We don't feel productive without stress. But stress creates a highly inflammatory state throughout your body as if you are literally preparing for battle. Stress is inevitable from time to time, but living with significant stress is unacceptable. It's time to be mindful of your emotional state. You can catch yourself. Do what you need to do, but don't allow yourself to feel stressed out. Number six, take supplements. We can load up on additional antioxidants. These are very effective in neutralizing inflammatory molecules, also called free radicals or reactive oxygen species. Items like turmeric, garlic, grape seed extract, glutathione, spirulina, and much more. I take an extensive regimen. I've provided a list of what I am taking right now below this video. I plan to continue until COVID-19 is no longer an issue feel free to do the same. I always recommend discussing with your personal physician before starting any supplement. So there it is. The global spread of COVID-19 is frightful. We have entered the COVID-19 era and may be living with this virus for years to come. Despite all the precautions, getting infected may be inevitable. It's time to really take charge. Use this pandemic as motivation to transform yourself now more than ever, our health is a matter of life and death. We are here to help. They say things will never be the same. That is correct because they will not even recognize us. Good luck. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also visit our website, jamescanellermd.com and subscribe to our free newsletter. Welcome to our extended family. Please leave your comments below. Your feedback is very much appreciated.